Yo, 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 what's up, guys? I'm going to show you guys what my, my League Star is going to be. Uh, I've been working on it. I have, like, three versions of it, maybe four. Um, so Heist League is, like, a pretty cool heist I don't really care too much about, but the, the alternate gems and some of the new uniques and kind of the new stuff they're bringing out is, is looking pretty promising. Seeing a lot of these gems and skills and support skills that I've always enjoyed using <clears throat> get some even more... Uh, alternate qualities that make them either do more damage, have mana reservation, or an alternate effect that gives you more utility or more damage uh, is, is really cool. Like seeing how Wrath has like reduced mana reservation on quality. So then you can potentially sneak Wrath, Hatred, and Zealotry in easier into a build like I did in, in Harvest. But uh, again, this is not one of my builds that I'm creating myself. I follow one of my buddies on YouTube and he's always done this build and I've kind of pieced together parts from it from a couple of his POVs. So I am a Guardian. And this is a Herald of Agony build of all builds. But it's not your typical Herald of Agony build. I've looked up some of them on uh, on YouTube and I've seen people playing them and kind of how they work. And Oops. They're pretty cool. This one is all... I'm not even anywhere near where I need to be on it yet. I, I have to redo the tree and stuff. But essentially... Just got a Convoking Wand with some... All, only things you really need on it is plus one to skill gems on minion and spell. Then you get this helmet, the Memory Vault Praetoria Crown, which gives you the main thing you want on it is increase mana reservation and gain armor equal to your reserved mana. And what we're going to do here is get a very large mana pool and reserve almost all of our mana, which then gives us a lot of armor. Armor makes us physically tanky, so we take physical damage reduction. And then we uh, have CI, so we don't take chaos damage. And then we will eventually have higher than 75% res cap on some burnt reses. So you just kind of naturally become pretty tanky. Uh, the shield, I crafted this, I think three fossil rolls. Got kind of lucky. Um, it's got junk energy shield, you know, tier 5 hybrid and tier 4 flat, um, and then mana, which blocked. I could have crafted in the um, energy shield, but mana's fine because mana gives us energy shield. But the main thing we were looking for here is energy shield when you block. And then I crafted 5% chance to block spell damage. Um, this is this is a big part of the build. So what this does is when we block, which we're almost always blocking, I'll show you. My Tempest shield is out. 75-75, right? So our spell block chance and our attack block chance is 75% on both. So when we do block, we're going to recover 5% of our energy shield, which is 5% of whatever almost 8k is. Astramint is with Arcane Garden. I might drop the Arcane Garden and pick up uh, Charisma and then sneak in either Determination or um, you know another another gem so we can get in there with like an Enlightened 4. But essentially, Convoking Wand, this, that, Skin of the Loyal, this one, again, was like 20C. The goal you would want is a Corrupted one that has plus two or plus one of all socketed gems. The goal here is to get your Herald of Agony gem as high as possible. Currently, mine is a 23. If I had a 21, it'd be a 24. And if the chest piece was plus two, it'd be 26. And then if we actually got the plus one here on the shield, it would be 27. And then... I'm not sure if it's possible, but some of these gems now will have reduced attribute requirements going forward because of the changes in 3.12. So I'm wondering if I could drop the Astramentus and pick up a gem that has like plus one of all dex gems or plus one of all physical gems or even both of those and then get, because I don't have anything on here, just attributes. And if I can get enough attributes, I'm like saying Onyx, to get two more on here, so that was 27, get it up to 29, <clears throat> maybe even 30. Uh, I'm running Impale, but in the final build, I will actually run an Empower in this link, a four Empower, to push this up even three more levels. So the higher the Agony Crawler is, the more attack speed it does, the more physical damage, the more flat fizz. And then I got these gloves, the Asnaz Gentle Touch. These are gonna be a bitch for me to get. Uh, I hope I can get them, but essentially it's Cursed Temp Chains on hit. non curse auras you inflict are not removed from dying enemies. And then enemies near corpses affected by your curses are blinded, 
Enemies killed near corpses affected by your curses explode, dealing 3% of physical damage. So this allows me and Delve to get rid of corpses. This is a junk belt. It's just got res with some mana on it, some flat energy shield I crafted. Again, like, this is nothing. I think I just got some reses in here, some mana, and the lighting damage of bow attacks doesn't do anything. Uh, again, this is, what, 116 energy shield and some res and some move speed and dodge attack hits if you've taken a crit strike recently, just hoping to keep me alive when I'm face tanking everything. Uh, two circles of nostalgia. These won't be that expensive um, if you just get cheap ones, like, don't worry about the implicits to get started. Because what you're getting is the agony crawl deals increased damage and then reduced mana reservation, not the increased buff effect. So typically this is a little bit cheaper one. On the, but this one's got increased damage while leeching life and regenerate life per second, which is pretty nice because I'm regenerating energy shield. This one is 6% increased maximum mana, which means I get more energy shield. And minions have increased movement speed, which helps my minion boys do damage. I could put more attributes on these. Um, with quality modifiers. I've done it on this one, not on this one. You do not need a Bottled Faith. This is standard. I just had it. Uh, you could easily run a Consecrate, or a, um, I can't think of the name of the flask right now. It's the one that gives you Consecrated Ground. Um, it's sulfur, just a base Sulfur Flask. Uh, Basalt Flask of Warding. This is just giving me physical damage reduction and reflects damage to attackers, immune to curses, and all that cool stuff. I could drop this and pick up a Soul Ripper which will help me keep my Molten Shell up. Oops, I need to also make this Val and make this regular. So, well, I'll show you guys. This is, I'll do it a little Dell. This is just 205 depth. I've taken this build to 1200 and it actually survived the 1200 pathing. Um, so it's immensely tanky. You use Ball Lightning to just apply poison to the mobs. When you apply poison, you're reflecting some of that poison back at yourself. But we run it in CI, so the poison doesn't stack on us. Uh, the golden rule is the jewel we're using to help poison ourselves, which in turn gives us higher base virulent stacks. You can see like some of these mobs are just, you hear the sound, the puff kind of sound of the mobs exploding gloves. Let us sit on the point. But the whole point of this build for me is to help me clear the Atlas, kill bosses, kill Cirrus, kill conquerors without needing too much gear influence, or uh, investment, not influence and then be able to delve from the same character, and then I'll make another character, and then push further. So that's 200 depth. Let's go a little bit deeper. I'll just show you how it, you can just handle much, much deeper depths. 326, I wouldn't go much deeper than that. Uh, 488. So in our Kabuki Bomb, we have Trigger Spells on Use. We have a Desecrate, Spirit Offering, and then a Tempest Shield. That keeps our Tempest Shield up, which gives us more block chance. We're also running some jewels that give us uh, Endurance Charge on hit. So I'm running three Endurance Charges. So look at our defense. It's all hold up on stream. 75, 75, almost 40,000 armor. So we're a tanky boy. I'm just going to try and sit here at mid. This build is getting changed and glancing blows did get nerfed, so we'll, we'll see how it works out. I think it'll be alright though. Final bosses. Yeah, Auras are running Clarity because of Watcher's Eye, Force Herald of Agony, and then Hatred through Generosity. 
Alright, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. We got here 554. I'm just seeing my point. It's allowing me to delve. I mean, I'm level 89. If, if I'm depth almost 600, I'm gonna be much higher than 89 by then. thousand life from my Val Molten Shell. A little bit slow, just a bit tanky, and I'll show you guys uh, one more. So, I named this character for my buddy. <clears throat> this is kind of how I'm leveling it. Again, I'm just kind of throwing this thing together. But I am in Act Three. I did. I am a Guardian. Um, I was leveling with Stormblast Mine for single target, and then Stormbrand to apply my virulent stacks and Orb of Storms. So let me get some mobs. I'll show you what I'm, how I'm doing. Well, I'll just use him for a, a specter, even though I shouldn't. I'll just grab another one of those. Okay, so we got specters. And then I'm gonna grab um, some zombies. <clears throat> Since I get all these guys out, I'll have onslaught permanently. Okay. So now I'm just going to brand everything. Which then allows my crawler to do work. Let's see what we get this point. We went down here and actually just manually grabbed glancing blows. This is gonna get moved. I need to look at the POB to see where it's been moved to. Um, we have an extra specter up here. We have some uh, some stuff for our minions. A little bit of damage before we get into the uh, clusters. So it looks like I can just go for some energy shield. Hmm. Maybe the play. Yeah, let's just go down. We can just go over here and grab some life first. Okay. But as you can see... I'm running shield charge. I'll eventually drop that. Grab flame dash back. But again, my gear is just, it's just rags. Nothing is any good. I 
what I put the shield on to do. Let's put a shield on. He's dead. I don't have meat shield anything connected to my specters, so they're just dying. I need to get the gem up higher level and eventually they won't be dying as much. Do like one more pack. Yeah, this is how I'm gonna start. Heist. Slow and steady. Tank. But that's it for me. I will. Uh, I won't have a POB for this yet, as I haven't finished figuring it out. Um, you can find some of this stuff on YouTube. There's some other guides. I've just pulled from like I have like seven POBs up that I'm pulling from, kind of like piecing things together and what works and what doesn't. Um, but we'll see. But I will also be doing a Scourge Arrow Pathfinder as my second character, I and mean, that will actually be my eye shot miner for delving. So once I get my main character down to probably 700, 800, where things start to kind of get tough and I get stuck, I will then start gearing out the Eye Shot Miner, or the Pathfinder, have him level in maps and other things. And when he gets around 95, I may get some Chalua's pushes to 97, 98, and then swap it over to Eye Shot Miner, and then push that guy down to, you know, I'll, who knows how far I'll get this league, 1k, 2k, 3k. I am going to be playing Shadowlands uh, when it comes out in uh, near the end of October, so... Appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, leave me some comments below. I know this build's been nerfed, so who cares? Nerfed, whatever. I have fun playing it. Um, and I'll see you guys in 3.12. Peace.